another Sherlock Holmes game. This is called Sherlock Holmes Nemesis. It is a game that follows right after Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. But it's actually called Sherlock Holmes vs. Arsene Lupin, who is a French gentleman who was created like Sherlock Holmes was created. So I'm pretty sure, hopefully, this game won't take me as long to figure out as the other one. Let's make sure my options are good. Yes, my options are good. Let's go ahead and start a new game. You are undertaken t to portray Sherlock Holmes, the famous consulting detective of 221B ba 241st Baker Street, London. During this case, you must demonstrate both sagacity and calm. Observe well the items around you and don't hesitate to click on that. Then once you have required information, you will obtain comments that will help in your front. Do not forget to interrogate anybody who may be able to inform you. Choose the right questions and pay heed to their answers. Assure yourself that you aren't caught short by your adversary Arsene Lupin. We'll throw a number of challenges at you which, which will demand you are several and methodical. First in the course of your investigations, you will need a pencil, pencil up and paper. Certain riddles will require a reflection worthy of your hero. Oh, that's Keyword in response to a question. In order to continue the adventure, you are at liberty to consult your notes in order to help yourself. Do not forget to read the documents that you will have gathered and glance through Sherlock's notes. They are all important. In order to advance your inquest, you will have at your disposition plans and maps which will permit you to teleport by clicking on given points. You may equally make your character one by double clicking with your left mouse button or you can hit shift. England's honor, honor is that state. Do not disappoint your adversary. Oh, <gasps> it looks so much better than the last game already. <laughs> oh, progress peasants. I can't wait for it to Sherlock Holmes versus Ozan your pawn. The new adventure of Sherlock Holmes. Oh. Why do the graphics look so much better than the last time I saw it? Sherlock Holmes versus Arsene Lupin. I don't know how you say his name, but that's the same woman who's always standing there. Which I don't understand why. That guy was there in the last game. It's the paper boy there. Where's the paper boy? The paper boy's not there. Make me very sad, boy. London, July 14th, 18. 95 95 So I don't know how this is going to work this time Oh my gosh, it's the same character model <laughs> But maybe the words will actually work with the mouth this time It looks to be the beginning of a lovely day Holmes there's nothing like beginning the week with a sunny Monday, with nothing more pressing to do than to see what came in the post. And would you care to take a ride up the Thames today? I think not, Watson. Listen, Holmes, your mood has been getting progressively worse for the past two weeks. I know you, and I am certain that something is bothering you. It wouldn't be bad news from Switzerland, would it? We would already be on a boat heading towards the continent, were that the case, my dear Watson. Very well, then what is it? Let me guess. For the past two weeks, the papers have talked of nothing other than this French thief, Arsene Lupin. He's been making all of the police officers on the continent look like complete idiots. 
You're taking an obvious pleasure out of reading these articles. My dear Watson. I've put my finger on it, haven't I? I know you well. <laughs> Something tells me that you will not entertain talk of this Lupin for some time. Do you recall his latest feat? Using an alias, he seduced a young Italian princess in order to rob her of a priceless set of diamond jewelry that once belonged to the Medicis. These jewels were to be part of the lady's dowry on the occasion of her marriage to the son of a wealthy, influential Sicilian. Finally, our friend, having committed his crime, left word for the local press explaining that there was no other way for the charming lass to escape a marriage of convenience with, I quote, an uncultivated and uncouth boar without the least refinement. Since then, the lady has been confined to a convent, and rumor has it that the two outraged fathers have jointly offered a sum of countless millions of liras for the head, the rest of the body being optional, of the man who is responsible for their dishonor. Are you acquainted with the reputation okay. of the Italian criminal milieu? Why, another letter from the zoo about those missing birds, as if we were going to be running around the whole of London chasing chickens. As I was saying, are you acquainted with the reputation of the Italian criminal milieu? This Arsene Lupin must be in hiding somewhere, surrounded by bottles of champagne and stolen treasures. How foolhardy and arrogant. Oh, these French. However, he didn't pursue this foolishness okay. to the point of risking stepping onto British soil. Uh, ah! Has the cat got your tongue, Watson? What? Uh, um... Uh... Whatever is the matter with you, Watson? Pray tell. This letter on the ta table. Holmes, read it. Okay. So the problem with this game is that the cut, the way the cutscenes are set up, it moves too fast between the words. Is there a, is there a third, first person? <gasps> There's no first person in this mode? Oh. No. I guess I'll point it quick. Well, I can move around. Wait. Why? Can I not? Oh, thank you. I can... <gasps> Finally, first person mode. Let's go. Okay, let's... Oh. July 14th, 1895. Arson and Lupin's threat. Oh gosh, I'm gonna read what the Fishman said. Okay. Before dear Mr. Holmes, before I begin, please excuse any grammatical or spelling errors that you might notice. Your language is in my nose turn as I come from the continent of France, to be exact. In addition, my singular subjects of conversation, whether it be oral or written, are the most exquisite fluid and rhyme. The noble arts and the sublimest woman. Of course, he's a womanizer. Um, the world, who, whole world knows that you, people who are most glory, gracious majesty, do not produce or even discern any manifest, manifestation of aesthetic intelligence and civilization that sets men apart from beasts. Thus, the opportunity to practice your language are sporadic and brief. What use is there to linger with a lackey or maid? But look, I see I have made a mistake, or rather, an execrable mistranslation. I said, you, people of her most glorious blah blah blah, I should have said, the people of blah 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 other than you. How can I include you in this half rudy faced, half pallid crowd reeking a brine and cheap beer? Oh, okay, okay, we are. Mm. I'm still gonna read it, but you stand apart an icon. I've followed your exploits for some time and being interested in your usual unusual personality, I started to see in you a man of intelligence, ignuratory and single singular refinement. The incredible results in your activities and the manner in which you have achieved them are marked with the seal of genius. Believe me, despite the lamentable 
opinion that I hold for the inhabitants of your island. I have for you an admiration without limit, which reaches apogee recent. Let's go you have a French ancestor. What well, unlucky stories brought you to a world elsewhere than in the motherland? The motherland I call my own. That should have been your own. Perhaps the gods desire that your presence on this island bring up the intellectual, intellectual average. That was so low, it bordered on the absurd. The business that brings me to write this letter may bring an answer to this question. You see, events without antecedent will occur in London in the week to come beginning on the very night of the day in which you read this letter. The purpose of these events is to bring to light a fraud, the arrogance and vanity of the English. Oh, This is, f how many pages is this? Like, f four more? Enough of haughty, boring composure that the English present us with Passions should be freely expressed. Enough of this der derisive confidence in which in English impregnability which is applied by all of your politicians and soldiers to English fortress is being protected by thieves serving as moats. Enough of your supposed symbols of majesty and Ganondor, a spirit which are in fact merely the fruits of looting and plundering. England has measured the word by its stringy superior smile for far too long. There's I assume Lupin have pleaded to get rid of this smile. To that end, in the week to come, I pledge to steal five of the most representational symbols of the alleged English grandeur here in London. Once the Auspicious achievements have been accomplished. I will exhibit the trophies for the world to see and will reveal the smallness of a nation incapable of preserving its pride. England will become the laughing stock of all nations from the largest to the smallest and will have to swallow its pride and lower its head for millennia to come. Imagine these self righteous and perfidious faces. Who ordinary parade the fact that they are one of Her Majesty's people will henceforward hide their origins. Being longest will no longer be grounds for pride, but rather shame. In belief, the debts will be paid. You are perhaps asking yourself why I have chosen to share it with you my vision, which many who don't know me would consider mad. After all, if my former praises are well founded, you are certainly the only person in England capable of stopping my plan. Like myself, you are fully aware of the inefficiency and efficiency and the flagrant lack of imagination that plagues your police service. The reason for this letter is to immediately n narcissistic, no exception, artists desire to produce the their work for an uncultured public incapable appreciation of the true values of his powers and talent in you. I found that I do spectator and I wish for you to follow the stages of my consecration step by step. In fact, I would almost wish for you to put yourself in my path and in vain to stop me from committing these deaths, but you are a busy man who doesn't like defeat. What a shame. And despite everything the adventures tempt you, anyway I shall leave you a few verses that deal with tonight's target. Okay, all across France everyone knows, in the blind's kingdom, you only need, for, need one eye for the crown. <coughs> Excuse me? There was a one- You chose the blind man, it shows there was thrust a one eye, one armed man who brought us down. It is true that we failed, that we tried again, our faith was no. His immorality or pain, one of the Spanish cates, the detestable pride that hangs around you like drapes, our suffering makes you snide. An adversary came along in order to protect victory. We were put in the wrong and the day made history, save the pain and defeat, the worst in this game. is that the hero we did meet carries the French name. Clearly. Did vengeance sounds what I have in mind for this prayer. 
Sing out his master's feet like a hound. It is, is soon is to be run aground. Oh, my honor, tonight to hand. I will break free the binding so that all may understand. Our victory will take wink. Arsenal Lori Latino. That's a lot of ring. I hope I don't have to do that much ring later on in the game. Holmes, this is truly unbelievable. Surely this cannot be taken seriously. It's possible, Watson, that this letter is nothing but a prank. However, a small chance exists that both the challenge and I like the threat are the the subtitles for this do. game. First, I'm going to enjoy the breakfast Mrs. Hudson has prepared. If you would be so good, Watson, as to clarify some of the riddles in the letter. Firstly, if Arsene Lupin is actually the author, as he states, why does he sign with another name? When it comes to the poem, I know why he signed with that. Answer seems straightforward. We must be quite certain. What would the target of tonight's theft be? It's a Spanish, to be Spanish cape. We have cape. one day to find the solution and to take preventative measures. You could go see Barnes, the bookstore in Glentworth Street. Surely they'll have something that will be yeah, informative. Sure. Okay, so what I gotta do is go to the bookstore, I think. Oh, this house looks so much better than the last time. I say hello, old man. Do you have anything? No, I have nothing to ask him. Okay. There is nothing to ask any of these except if I go to Barnes Bookstore. I think. Let's go to Barnes Bookstore, which should be right here, if I remember from the last game. Poor Barnes should hire a cleaning lady. Oh, what a mess. Okay. Let me see, what's around here that I can grab? Is she doing the thing that Sherlock Holmes was doing last time? I think it was. Good day, Barnes. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Watson. <laughs> How are you? I did, uh, didn't hear you enter. Are you busy? Am I disturbing you? Uh, not at all. I, I was researching, uh, researching, um, but if you came to see me, it, it must be that you're looking for something specific. Uh, perhaps uh, I can help you? I'm looking for a strange a affair. A very strange affair. Bewildering even has brought me to see you. An affair involving a Spanish king and a one-eyed, one-armed man. <laughs> Most certainly. You will find the works dealing with naval history on one of the shelves somewhere. Thank you. I'll go look. So I think you'll find the um, Spanish affair. Where are you? Where are you, Spanish affair? Right here. Okay, so here we go, Nelson. Okay, okay, that's sick. Here's my book, The Great English Sailors. There we go. As it happens, I found this book and... Excuse me, uh, my dear Dr. Watson, but I, I, I am in need of tranquility. Well, well, farewell, Barnes. Goodbye, Barnes. I'm going to go back to what? So I could press M for the map, right? Either that changes some or... No, no, no. J. What? I can just click that and we'll see I can teleport back to Let's go back up to homes. Okay, what? Okay, I don't know why they quit. What progress have you made? Have you found the meaning of the mysterious signature? Oh, Everything of importance. Let me actually close this. 
Cause let me look. Duke of Bronte? Now tell me, Watson. I see. Is it the Duke of Bronte? Your intentions are good, Watson. Ah. But you've missed everything of importance. I'm thinking. Who is this man? What have I not done yet? Barnes? Now tell me. Let's try. Rosen Lu Pen. Your intentions are good, Watson, but you've missed it. Okay, uh, let me look over here. This is how Holmes organizes his correspondence. It's a coal bucket in which. Uh, is there anything else anywhere? Oh, what a mess! Okay, um. Oh. Uh, I thought that's okay. I should have realized that. That would make sense. Okay, let me look. No. I have the answer. Let me see. Horatio Horatio Nelson. Okay. Horatio Nelson. Your intentions are good, Watson. Did I misspell it? Horatio, ho, ratio notion. Ho, ratio, Nelson. Your intentions are good, Watson, but you've missed everything of importance. What? I just said Horatio Nelson. It's an anagram, Holmes. The letters in Arsino Lotino can be used to spell out Horatio Nelson. That's a welcome confirmation. No doubt the target for the theft is somehow connected with the Battle of Trafalgar, won by Admiral Lord Nelson at the expense of the French. Nelson, who lost an eye and an arm in battle, has a statue high atop a column in Trafalgar Square. It says that the object of the theft is sitting at his master's feet. There's nothing to steal on this column. We have a map of London here. So oh, that's intriguing. Of interest near Trafalgar Square. Okay. See, where is the map of London? Ha! I found it at last! The map of London! So, according to okay. you, what is there to steal in Trafalgar Square? Show me on the map, Watson. So, according to you, what is there to steal in Trafalgar Square? Show me on the map, Watson. Where is the map? Okay, that doesn't help. That's not. I think it's in the east. No, so it must be in the center. The only location visible is the National Gallery of Painting. Ah, that which makes sense. The hmm, why not? Our man wants to steal a painting, but which one? Watson, shall we head out? Let's take a tour of the National Gallery. While you find us a handsome, I'll send a message to Lestrade to have him join us. Okay, let's go find a ride. Where is horse? Ah, hello. Ah, lamb, good timing. Can you give myself and my friend Sherlock a lift? 
With pleasure, Dr. Watson. The mistress, uh, Miss Bromsby, gave me the day off. I'll wait for you. Okay. We're gonna go exploring. Let's go exploring. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and welcome to the National Gallery of Painting. As it's such a lovely day outside, you're the only visitors at the moment, and likely will be for the whole day. As the minimum number of people for a guided tour is... We're not here to visit the museum, young man. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Sherlock Holmes? The famous detective? Yes, that is him. I have reason to believe that a theft is being planned that will take place here, perhaps as early as today. A robbery? I'm not certain, but there is a good reason to believe that is the case. We have contacted Inspector Lestrade at Scotland Yard, and he should be joining us momentarily. Meanwhile, rest assured that we are here in an official capacity. In the meantime, you can certainly help us. One of the paintings will play a part in the matter, but I don't yet know exactly which one. I do, however, have a few clues that should tell something to a specialist like yourself. Ah, yes, of course. As it happens, I've only been working here for three days. Actually, I'm an apprentice, and my duties here are essentially administrative. Okay. Pray tell, would I be correct in deducing that the elder of the two men that we can see up there is the director of the museum? Yes, that is Sir Pointer. He could certainly assist you better than I, but at the moment he's terribly occupied Makes sense. and will be for some time. But the location that you are proposing is unworthy of my work. All of my pieces are hymns to color and light. It's the very stars, the sun that you want to extinguish. That's probably Please him. understand, dear sir, the entrance hall is reserved for temporary exhibitions. We are able to add more lighting. In that case, you would have to provide lanterns across the whole length of the ceiling. And to use the most refined oil possible. Definitely not gas. And mirrors to reflect the light, along with some canvases in basic colors to bring out the contrasts. We will do all that we possibly can. Nevertheless, I insist that a number of my works must be on the main floor next to the large pieces. But our rooms are already full, and, as you know, each has its specific subject. Too much modernism? How can there be too much modernism? Modernism doesn't exist. Only art exists. Art is timeless. This art man is... is I think it's open, but... Well, sir, perhaps we should continue this conversation in my office. Okay. Then you must certainly have a letter of the works that are shown in the museum, with a description of each painting. Yes, Sir Pointer entrusted it to my care this morning, so I could familiarize myself with the collection, but I lost it. I know, I make a rather feeble archivist, but while I was doing a tour of the museum, the painting that Mr. Pointer is now dealing with arrived, along with cases full of canvases that he had to quickly inventory. The case of the missing ledger. What do you make of it, Watson? Listen, Mr... Um, Palinor, sir. Palinor, my friend and I will make our way through the museum in order to find the ledger. If you lost it while touring the museum and it wasn't back on the desk, then it must be in one of the galleries. Stay here and we will return to see you when we have found it, and not a word of it to the director. Certainly, <laughs> sir. With many thanks, I will continue to do my inventory and await you. Yeah. Oh. Tell me, young man, would you happen to have a blueprint yes. of the building in order to facilitate the task at hand? Ah, yes, yes. Where did I put it? Oh, yes, here it is. Farewell, Palinor. Okay. So, let me... Okay. Let's go ahead and explore everywhere. So, what is this? What is this room? Closed. Okay, cool. Is there anything here? Closed. Okay, we're going to look everywhere. Let me see. Okay. 
We're gonna go look around here. Italian. The gallery of Italian works. Okay. I thought that sign was say. Closed. Okay. This painting depicts the gods Venus and Mars. Okay, we're not looking at the painting. We're just trying to find anything and everything that looks like a ledger. The Flemish artists are found here. Okay. Okay, let's just do this. We're gonna go here. Let's look around. Is there any type of... Oh. The Flemish artists are found here. Let's see, is there any type of... The painter who was conversing with the director has such character to the point of taking some of it out on this poor plant. Let's see. Oh, there's the ledger. I found the ledger. There, it seems that we found the famous ledger. It's written in shorthand, and there are hundreds of entries. Let's bring it to the archivist. Okay, well, let's teleport back to the front. Let's see what's going on. Oh, good. Farewell, Palinor. I didn't. I didn't get the ledger in my hand, which is something I need to do. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Pleasure. Ledger, my friend. You found it. Many thanks. You won't say anything. To I will not time. say Rest anything to sort point high. With how the entries are written, everything seems to be abbreviated. I understand how to locate a thematic group and how to read a description, but I am struggling with the location codes. Ah. It's better than nothing at the moment. We're searching for a painting that has a connection to the Battle of Trafalgar. Depicting what exactly? According to this poem, it could be. Oh, frick. Uh, let's look at- let's look at the inventory. Spanish? I try- I- I think it's, um... Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I was thinking it was probably a boat or something. Yes, Mr. Holmes? It's a boat. It might refer to a boat. Its master was Admiral Nelson, and the thief wanted to run it aground. Moreover, the boat would have a French name. Wait, I have a suggestion. A very popular painting, symbolic <laughs> even, the fighting Temeraire, a turner. In this painting, Turner is described as having mastered painting techniques, and it is one of the most beautiful English paintings of all time. The subject, a boat by the French name of Temeraire, was involved in the Battle of Trafalgar and distinguished itself by protecting Victory, the flagship on board which was... Victory, did you say? Yes, Admiral Nelson was on board. Temeraire received a special distinction, but I am not certain of which. The painting shows it being towed to the breaker's yard, I believe. Okay. Let's ask him about the fine to me. Where would I find it? Uh, ah, uh, I don't know. You would have to search through the English works of this century near the west section of the Interesting. Gallery. My thanks, Palinor. Come, Watson, let's take a look at the painting. Okay, to the west side of the gallery. So, ah, Venice, okay. La Serenissima. This one from 1740. Oh, this is Italy. This is Italy works. This is Flemish, if I'm not mistaken, right? The Flemish artists are found yes, here. Yes, Flemish. This is what? Dutch gallery. Oh, Dutch. You see? This is American. Mm. Painter's Hall. There it is. Here's what I've been looking for. Okay. Sun Rising Through Vapor by William Turner. Forty years before. Oh, no, no, not that one. This one. 
fighting Temeraire. Splendid. What do you think? I agree, it's splendid. The existence of this painting would seem to give credit to this whole affair. As long as this painting remains on this wall, this letter, even if it is eloquent and provocative, is nothing more than a letter. It is possible that all of this could be a hoax with no substance whatsoever. We will know soon enough, as the theft will have to take place tonight. We must warn the museum's director, Holmes. You are correct, Watson. Shall we? Let's go talk to the museum director. Let's see. Fantastic! Superb! There, maestro. I believe that everything is settled. This collaboration will be my crowning glory, my masterpiece. Merci! I have finished the inventory of the works of art, Director. Oh, and I have the pleasure of introducing the great detective Sherlock Holmes and his companion, Dr. Watson. Good day, gentlemen. It's with pleasure that I welcome you to our gallery. I trust that you are here for pleasure and not business? I'm afraid that is not the case. Oh! When it yeah. is no longer a matter of art, the artist must make his excuses. Messieurs, until we meet again, no need to accompany me. I know the way. That guy's, uh, that guy's French. That's Arsene Lupin. Apologies, gentlemen. Have you been waiting long? Mr. Palinor was able to answer all of our most urgent questions. Tell me, who was that man who just left? That was Horace Valmont. A French painter. One of the best, seemingly. His letters of recommendation come from some of the grandest salons in Paris. A Frenchman? Let's take a look, Watson. Yes, he's very avant-garde. He heard that we were showing the works of modern painters during our temporary exhibitions. He has loaned us a number of paintings and has promised to donate those that have the greatest success to the museum. Lestrade, just in time. And the Frenchman Watson? Gone? Director, this is Inspector Lestrade from Scotland Yard. Lestrade, this is the director of the National Gallery, Sir Pointer, and his assistant, Mr. Palinor. Lestrade, would you have your constable on duty guard the entrance and make sure that nobody comes into the museum? Director, is there anything else? No, but... If you would care to follow me, I'll show you what the motivation behind all of this is. The reason for this little gathering is this letter that I received at my lodgings this morning. Without getting into too much this detail, is very interesting this story. painting, the fighting Temeraire, will be stolen tonight. Pardon? There now. It's because of a letter that you've disturbed me. You believe that? I would never have taken the liberty to disturb you if this letter, the authenticity of which I must admit hasn't been completely confirmed, was not written by the one and only Arsene Lupin. Arsene Lupin? Arsene Lupin? Ars? Arsenal? Who? Lu? What? Arsene Lupin, the most wanted cat mm -hmm. in the world. We will know soon enough whether or not this letter is a fake, or if I had reason to disturb you, Lestrade. But you must understand that we couldn't take even the slightest chance. Hmm, perhaps. Why not simply put this thing under lock and key in the bank or at Scotland Yard? We cannot risk storing the painting in an improper environment, or to entrust it to anyone who calls it a... All that would achieve would be to shift the problem. Mm -hmm. This painting is priceless. Beware he who would harm it. What I propose, Lestrade, is to do a tour of the museum with Sir Pointer in order to check any possible points of break and entry and leave two men on duty here tonight. In addition, Director, you must close the museum to the public and not let anyone else in. If you feel it's necessary. And you? Yeah. Holmes? I'll pass by tomorrow at dawn. We'll know then what we're up against. Should the unthinkable have occurred, I insist that nothing is touched until I arrive. Is that clear? Let's be off, Watson. Okay. Listen, Inspector. I have a lot of work to take care of. It would be better if I leave you to do a tour by yourself. You are, after all, a professional. Here are the keys to all of the locked doors. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Interesting. Well, I best inspect the museum to find any of Lupin's possible exits, including mice holes. Wait, I'm I'm now I'm restrained? What? Last time I 
So this last game you can only control Watson and um Sherlock. But in this game you no, can no exits on this side. You can Nothing control like three people. No, no exits on this side. Nothing to report. Okay. Check this. That chap must have been rip roaring drunk when he painted that one. No, no exits on this side, nothing to report. Okay, I think I've explored the whole place. I will make sure there are no windows and therefore ways in here. Hmm, do your work. I will draw a map for you. Inspector, wait for tonight. There, Hello. the director and his underling have left. Time for us to play now. It could be that this whole robbery is nothing but nonsense. If not, we are prepared, and this Lupin will play right into our hands. Okay. I'll lock the main door to the museum, and you will be locked in. Jeffries is on duty in Trafalgar Square, and the yard is nearby. Nothing to worry about there. The doors leading in will be locked, but you will each have everything you need to open them. Stay hidden and cover your light so you cannot be seen from the roof. You, mm -hmm. Lockhart, will be stationed near the painting itself. At the least provocation, go down to the entrance and sound the alarm. The walls are too thick, so you will have to go down for your whistle to be heard. In case of real trouble, be sure to fire with deadly accuracy. Because if you even graze one of the paintings, your grandchildren will still be paying off your debts. Finally, you'll just have to be content with your lanterns. Gas is too expensive. Let's go, men. Keep your wits about you. You'll be relieved at 4 a.m. Okay. Later. So there's some type of knockout gas. Go on, you cantankerous codger. You have work to do. Okay. You're right, Holmes. The constable below was indeed asked to deliver us a letter. It's from Lestrade. Nothing good can mm -hmm. come from such urgency. Indeed, Holmes. This time, without doubt, the painting has disappeared. According to what he's written, they've turned the National Gallery upside down looking for it. Our presence is required immediately. Well, Watson, okay. the game is afoot. Should we not have enlisted more men from the force to protect the painting? I think that a whole brigade could not have stopped Lupin. And, of course, we can now be certain that it was he who was behind the theft. First and foremost, the police have a city and lives to protect, and we must respect that. Watson, a handsome will be hard to find at this hour. 
and Billy, our page, is sick. Would you be so good as to flag one down while I take a moment to reread this letter? Yesterday, I was a doctor, and now I become a valet. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys, that will be it from this episode of Sherlock Holmes' Nemesis. See you next time, my ghost.